Hello friends. I had an audio issue on my last mining tutorial, so I'm going to start all over with a brand new one showing a character that is lower level, just like those that are having trouble getting to silver so that they can get their barn corrected. Um, what I did to prepare for this run is I gathered as much food items as I possibly could. All of these are things that I grabbed just while going through the tutorial. So I wanted to point out a few things. Um, I gathered a ton of mushrooms just from foresting all throughout the tutorial. It doesn't cost any time. It doesn't take you any energy. You can run around as much as you want without affecting any of your things that are now going to be a problem. So if you need to start over, I am planning on putting together a walkthrough that goes through the tutorial to show how easily you can gather so much food just during the tutorial. This is a few days after the tutorial because I needed to build one of the buildings. I thought I needed to do the flowers as well to unlock where they actually asked me to do the barn, but I pulled up my dock pad that you get on the uh, fifth day, I believe, of the tutorial. And I am now able to get farther down into the mine, so I should be able to get silver. I'm going to show you how to do that. But I just wanted to show you, there's a huge difference depending on what type of food you want to bring with you down into the mine. So the baguettes, they're great if you get them for free as quest rewards, but I would not waste time making them because eating two wheat is the equivalent of one baguette. So it really just causes extra time while you're cooking and you're without your wheat for that time. All of these items are going to give you a half heart, even the ones that you grow this early on in the game because you have not increased their star level. So here's some sardines that I fished up once I got the fishing quest from Neil's dad once he returns to the town. I just wanted to show you even the very basic easiest to catch sardines that you get right on the beach in the beginner area one full heart and you can eat it raw if you have a, a one star it's a full heart but it's worth more money so I'd recommend selling those ones and eating these ones but if you get a two heart it's worth even more money but it's also worth a heart and a half so it's up to you if you want to eat them I went to the pond that's right next to the farming area on your way into Providence where you have to uh, bring the people back to Lechtenberg and this is right behind that little farm plot that we're not using this early in the game yet. I caught this red crayfish a uh, heart and a half. I caught the arowana two hearts and if you go down past all of those apple trees let me show you where it's located here so when you first start the game you're going to go through here there's going to be a walkway up through a cliff up here and then right around here is going to have your first farming area the crawfish and the arowana are in a pond right about this area right behind the farm, almost literally behind it. If you walk to the back side of the farm, you should be able to see kind of where it is. Up along this area, you're going to pass a apple tree right here that I recommend you get apples from every time you pass it. And then right where the goddess statue is right here, there's going to be a path going down with apple trees here, 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 all over right in this area. And there's a little pond right here and there there's a path that goes right to it. The pond right here has very large fish, mostly walleye, but you get so close to that pond, they're easier to catch than other fish. And that's what you get here in my, here's the different walleye that I caught. They're both worth two hearts. So fishing, not my favorite thing very lucrative if you want them specifically for cash because they are worth good money but also just the cheap ones the very like no bells and whistles no stars ones worth good amount of of food in one 
bite. But since not everybody likes fishing, I'm going to show you on this tutorial how you can just do it with a bunch of apples, or we could do mushrooms. Since they're half heart each, it doesn't really matter eat anyway. You can just grab whatever it is that you've found when you when you go down to the mine to do this. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pick up any mushrooms that I see on the way so that I can run without causing me to lose too much stamina and then I can eat all these mushrooms before I go in and keep my stamina topped off. I'm ignoring everything. I ignored my crops just so that we can get directly to the mine here. And I'm just grabbing this stuff so I have a little extra. You can grab it on your way in every time. This is the most important thing though. Each one of these items is only worth a half a heart. You don't get a lot of options inside unless you hit a level 10, 20, 30, any of the 10s in there for the level, you'll have a chance to fish. If you're not a big fan of fishing, then I would recommend that you just fill up your bag with whatever you've got. I generally recommend, especially for a brand new player, like this one is fresh out of the tutorial, five hearts is your limit. Bring at least 20. As many as you can, those is a good plan for the first time where you want to hit level 11 to try to get on to get your silver. Here is the instructions for dowsing. I'll go ahead and read them so that I'm an auditory learning learner, so it's a lot easier than me trying to read it. Uh, press the B button to douse, and the mini map will show the location of any ore and ladders buried nearby. Sometimes you may accidentally dig into a pit. Be careful not to fall in. When you descend a ladder, you move to a lower floor. The lower the level, the easier it is to find rare ore. So there's a little bit of things that are misleading in there. So I just want to take a moment to expand a little bit on that before we start. I start showing you how it works. Um, first, the pits. You're not going to have to worry about them in this mine, especially since we're not going to be very far or very low in the levels. But once you're farther on in the game, you may intentionally want to fall down pits because sometimes you can get two or three levels and if you have like 15 hearts and, and your hearts are full, you may want to just take that easy way down without having to dig through everything to try to find the next way down, especially when you're in the super low levels of like the volcano mine. It can be challenging to try to find the actual ladder down, it might be faster just to let yourself fall down the pit. I've done that intentionally before. Just make sure you have enough food and that your health is high enough that if you take a, a multi-level hit, it's not going to kill your stamina, send you back home before you get down deep enough to where, you're, where you can warp down there the next time. Every 11 uh, levels will open up a new pathway when you enter into the mine where instead of it just taking you immediately to this level B1, you'll be able to warp down to say level 11 or level 21 or level 31 um, rather than having to start at the very first level every single time. So our goal is to get to level 11 and see how we have this bright and shiny ore node behind us that is dry very tempting. We're going to completely ignore it. We're going to press the B button. You see in your corner, you have these bubbles. You want to try to aim for the very center of that bubble. The very center of the bubbles where the item pit or way down is going to show. And typically, especially in this lower level mine, a lot of the way down is going to be in the very first room that you show up in. Now, I really want to stress, especially when your tools are the beginner tools and they cost so much stamina for you to use them and they don't break these big rocks very much, avoid them as much as you can. Do not hit the ore 
if you find an ore you absolutely cannot resist just because you really want to cut the gems and sell it for money, then don't make this a run to get down to the next warp level. Make it a level that you're just going to gather the gems and the ore. So you can tell from the size of the bubbles kind of what uh, is going to be inside of them. These bubbles are all going to be lower level ore and uh, the way down. Bubbles that are much larger, like this bubble right here is much larger. This one's going to be a stone. So if you want to, you can just completely ignore this one because it's not going to be your way down. It's just going to be a worthless one piece of stone, not worth your effort. And there we've got the, the middle size circles there are going to be the same ones that are going to hide your way down. So behind us right here is a bronze ore node. We are going to ignore that because if you spend enough time in the tutorial, um, you can start off with plenty of bronze and it's not much of a temptation for me to ruin a way down. See, we've got another one of those stone circles that are bigger than the rest of the circles. We've been pretty lucky in finding the way down pretty easily. Just so you know, typically, especially in this way down, it is not going to be located generally inside these hallways. It's, at least in this mine, it's not. I have had it in the higher mines. I've never seen it in these lower, in the beginner mind. So if you see them in the hallway, you're running low on stamina, um, just go ahead and skip the ones in the hallway. You'll get a feel for which ones are likely could to be the way down the more that you mine. Now, you might have noticed there that I had a You might have noticed there that I had a exclamation point above my head when there were rocks coming. So as soon as you see that, you want to take steps back, get away from the ore. Um, I usually go backwards because I've already unloaded anything that might be uh, a pit behind me so I know that I can avoid those. And here I am. This is level 10. I just wanted to show you some of the fish that you could catch in here. You can use these to refill your energy if you have enough energy to fish a little bit. I wouldn't spend too much time here unless you see a golden one. then Because you can get a golden carp even on this level 10. They are worth a lot of money. A no star golden carp can be worth 4,000 which means a lot at this level and when you're a beginner. So here we've just made it to level 11 and as you can see we've only lost a few hearts so we're, we can eat plenty of the food that we brought with us. Um, the fish that I just caught I could eat those. I would rather save them so I, I can have money since the mushrooms are fairly worthless. Um, apples are fairly worthless but the fish are usually, even the ones without any stars, are usually worth like at least a hundred, so that's pretty worthwhile. So here's where you're going to want to keep an eye on the circles. And since there's no pits down this early, what I'm doing is I'm checking to see if there are any circles that are smaller than any of the other circles. And I'm not even bothering to hit anything, I'm just checking in, as I explore this little mining area to see if there are any small, small circles. And you'll notice they're bit, quite a bit smaller than what you're expecting if they're silver. That way you don't waste your time like hitting all these. So here's, here's a regular stone, the big one. 
you can ignore that here's some regular circles you've got this rock in your way but it only has one circle in there so we're not we're not going to bother unless we can't find the way down because we want to avoid hitting those rocks if possible so here we go down to level b13 and we're just going to run around checking the size of the bubbles just to see if we find a small one it doesn't look like we've got very much luck this run these are not these low nodes are not going to have silver on this level um you have to get quite a bit lower before we can get silver no nodes so you can basically ignore any of the circles that are not in the main one if you're just looking for a way down oh this one's probably not it because it's going to be in the hallway here and it's very rare that they show up in the hallway so it's probably going to be one of these ones that are in the big area here And this may not be the, the same way with all of the mines, but this is how it is with this particular one. Now, if you get hit with a rock, it just means it's going to eat it, that stamina. So you can, if you can't avoid it, you just get hit again. You can uh, eat some of that food that you brought along with you. Oh, see here, we've got a much smaller circle. We're going to hit it in the middle and there's our first silver ore so we've got another silver ore that is just right here and you can tell because on this level it's not going to have anything but silver you do not have you aren't far enough down to get gold you can then spend the rest of your time trying to get the next level down so that you can try to get farther down in this so that you can get the next warp point but here we are uh, eighth day of spring it is five hearts uh, two o'clock p.m and we are already in the same one single run we're now on level 16 we've got opened up one warp point we've already found our two silver so this makes it a lot easier so that you're not bit digging up a bunch of ore that you don't need looking for silver since it is a much smaller size of a bubble we'll just see if we can get two warp points in the day yeah that's probably not going to be the way down but yeah it doesn't look like we have any in here Yeah, the ones in the hallway, if you are specifically trying to do a run to get farther in a mine, I would not even bother with them if you if you don't need the ore or the gems or whatever. And especially times right like right now when uh, you're at the very beginning, your energy is low, you don't have a lot of options in here. And I generally try to keep my health up above halfway with whatever it is that I dropped. Just so that if I happen to get hit by something or whatever, it's not going to be a major problem. See in here, since we've got the things that we were looking for, you can see this is the jade starting on level 11. Here's an example of getting hit by a rock. The first time you get this pop-up, it's not going to hit your stamina nearly as much. It hits your stamina quite a bit more later on. Oh, uh, This is an example where the way down is hidden under a rock. And the rocks and nodes tend to hit the falling rocks more often. So... It's probably a good idea to either get not hit it too fast so that you give yourself a chance to get out from under those falling rocks or get used to moving out of the way.
Notice how in the bubbles I'm trying to get in the very center of the bubble because it's really that's that's the one where you're at that it's going to be what you're looking for. I like to fish with no bait, which means I don't often get bites from the golden carp. But you can see even with no bait, occasionally you still can catch the attention of the golden carp. That's probably a golden carp because what we caught was a little carp. And it's up close, so I didn't throw this out as far. Now I'm just fighting against it, pulling it the opposite direction it swims, only pressing A when it's in the resting period, and we're more likely to catch it. But you can see, they are difficult, especially with the beginner rod. Sometimes it feels, especially at this level, that it is not worth it to fish, but I promise it gets better once you get up to the Lily Kana area, after you have opened up your uh, barn, it opens up your um, quest line so that you can warp, so that you can start going to Lily Kana. Definitely worthwhile to get your fishing pole upgraded. Those golden carp are a lot easier to catch. But there you go. That's um, how to get down to level we got 21 so now we've got two warp points let me show you what that looks like real quick so in here instead of it just dumping you at at b1 you have you can warp to level b11 or b21 the farther down you get the more likely you're going to be able to find nodes of silver and gold and later on better gems, better ore. Um, normally, when you're on this screen, it will show you the little cave. So if you're inside and you don't remember how many levels you need left, you can usually highlight the cave um, here in the dock pad, and it will tell you what level you're on if you have it, like how you have, this tells you Lectonbury Farm, this tells you it's Neil. You can highlight the cave when you're inside. It'll tell you what level it's in. You can't do that because I haven't unlocked this area because I wanted to show you in a way that you're going to see it as a beginner. So just another cu couple of quick tips. If you hit the Y on this, you can find items. You might have noticed I had daisy seeds up there to search for. You can search for any seeds that you have previously touched. Mushrooms here, so if you want to be able to get the 28 mushrooms that I had so you can get farther in the mine, you can do this to see where they pop up or if there's some right now. Um, this is actually a, a quick way where you can if you've touched them before and you have the dock pad, you can do this just to say, oh, hey, I can grab this on my way. Or, um, let's get rid of the mushrooms. You can also do it with fish. So like that arowana that I caught, um, I can select that on the item search menu and you can see right here is that fishing spot that i told you about that i got it at the <clears throat> fishing spot for the walleye is right here but you're gonna you can't go straight you have to go all the way around and then in like that um i can't remember if it was this one or this one i believe it might have been this one over here that i caught it at so that should get you all the way down to level... You can get the silver on level 11. I got my first two silver on the first time I made the mining tutorial. I got two silver on level 11 when I went down the very first time. But I just wanted to show you guys in an experience that should be relatively 
similar to what you're dealing with, the low amounts of stamina, the not great tools, um, and just give you a few tips and show you how I mine so that it helpfully helps you guys get farther down the mine, get the things that you need. And don't forget, when you have the thing, the items that you need here, <clears throat> you'll have to go and have them processed by Doc Jr. But after you mine, look at how full my pockets are. I am almost completely full. So if I went in there now and had him do two silver ore, he could, but let's say that I had him cut my gems, then I would have, you know, gems taking up spot, say I, you know, had some of the stone turned into material stone or something. These spots fill up real fast, so make sure you have an empty spot when you go to docks to have him process your silver, so you have the two silver that you can then talk to him again while you're holding to have him fix your barn and you'll be all set. Um, thank you for listening. If you have any other requests for tutorials, please feel free to comment or reach out to me. I'd be happy to put one together for you.